The center has been open for students to take classes there since January. Aspiring artists tell me it will benefit UA's art program that's been growing over the years. I am working on our final project. Barbara Hale's final project includes painting a perfect picture of a still life and a self-portrait of herself. So here's my setup here. The UA sophomore came here from Memphis because she was inspired by the abundance of artists in Arkansas. I actually didn't know that the center was being, you know, made while I was applying, but I knew that there was money coming into here. The 154,000 square foot facility houses art programs such as ceramics, drawing, painting, photography, printmaking, and graphic design. Just some final touches. Hale likes that she can take a break from her canvas and converse with other like-minded artists. And to experience it and to have the resources and just a space to come and do other things as well. And so it's cool to not only be here for myself, but to see other work that's going on. UA officials say as the art industry grows in Arkansas, they hope the center will help shape the landscape of creative thinking and innovation in the natural state. To become like museum curators or work at Crystal Bridges or the momentary to be able to share the curatorial knowledge that they learn in art history. You know, arts is a arts is an incredible industry. I want to go into conservation. Hale is looking forward to taking steps towards following her dreams at the center. Yeah, I have time to experience it, so I came at the perfect time to really be able to enjoy it. The open house will run from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturday. People will get to tour the facility and buy artwork from registered student organizations. In the studio, Phil Reed, 4029 News.